Our solar system is a vast tapestry woven with celestial objects. Today, we journey to Uranus and its mysterious moon, Sycorax. Uranus, the seventh planet, is a pale blue giant with an extreme tilt. Among its moons, Sycorax stands out, shrouded in mystery. Discovered in 1997, Sycorax revealed a new class of objects orbiting Uranus. Its eccentric orbit suggests a complex and chaotic past. The discovery of Sycorax was serendipitous, a faint glimmer in the vastness of space. This find opened a new chapter in our understanding of the Uranian system. Advanced telescopes and imaging techniques were crucial in unveiling Sycorax. The Hale Telescope and CCDs allowed astronomers to detect this faint object. Philip D. Nicholson and Brett J. Gladman led the team that discovered Sycorax. Their expertise and collaboration were instrumental in this celestial find. On September 6, 1997, Sycorax revealed itself at Palomar Observatory. The team's meticulous observations confirmed the discovery of this new moon. Sycorax orbits Uranus in a wild, eccentric path, hinting at a turbulent past. Its distant orbit places it among the outermost of Uranus's known satellites. Sycorax is a small body with a diameter of roughly 100 miles. Its surface is a tapestry of ancient materials, locked in a perpetual deep freeze. Sycorax's reddish hue suggests the presence of organic molecules. These molecules offer clues to the moon's composition and the processes shaping its surface. Sycorax's eccentric orbit is a sign of gravitational chaos and cosmic encounters. Studying its orbit helps astronomers understand the early history of the Uranian system. Section 1. A Family Portrait. The Uranian Moons in Context. To grasp Sycorax's nature, we must see it within Uranus's diverse family of moons. Imagine a grand family portrait with Uranus at the center, surrounded by its moons. The inner moons are close-knit, while irregular moons like Sycorax hint at a complex history. Uranus has 27 known moons, each unique. These moons fall into three categories, inner, major, and irregular. Sycorax, with its chaotic orbit, challenges our understanding of planetary systems. Section 2. Inner Circle, Outer Reaches. Contrasting Orbits and Origins. Uranus's moons reveal their origins through their orbits. Inner moons formed from the same disk as Uranus, while irregular moons were captured by its gravity. Among the irregular moons of Uranus, Sycorax stands out as one of the most intriguing. However, it is not alone in its eccentric dance around the ice giant. Another irregular moon, Caliban, shares a similar orbital distance and reddish hue, suggesting a potential kinship between these two distant worlds. Caliban, discovered in 1997, just months before Sycorax, is slightly smaller than its counterpart, with an estimated diameter of about 60 miles, or 96 kilometers. Like Sycorax, Caliban follows a highly eccentric and inclined orbit, taking it far beyond the realm of Uranus's major moons. Despite their shared orbital characteristics and reddish hues, 
Psychorax and Caliban exhibit subtle differences that hint at potentially distinct origins or evolutionary histories. Psychorax, for instance, appears to be slightly redder than Caliban, suggesting that its surface may have been subjected to different levels of space weathering or that its composition may differ slightly. These subtle differences, though seemingly minor, could hold valuable clues to the history of these two enigmatic moons. Did Psychorax and Caliban originate from the same parent body, torn apart by gravitational forces during a close encounter with Uranus? Or do their distinct hues suggest that they were captured from different regions of the outer solar system, each carrying with it the chemical signatures of its birthplace? While telescopic observations of Psychorax reveal only a faint point of light, astronomers can glean valuable information about its size, composition and history by carefully analyzing its brightness and the way it reflects sunlight. By combining these observations with theoretical models, scientists can piece together a rudimentary portrait of this distant world, even in the absence of close-up images. Sycorax's estimated diameter of about 100 miles or 160 kilometers, places it among the larger irregular moons of Uranus. Its size, combined with its estimated mass, suggests that Psychorax is not dense enough to be composed primarily of rock, like the inner planets of our solar system. Instead, astronomers believe that Psychorax is likely a mixture of water ice, frozen gases like methane and ammonia, and perhaps a smattering of rocky material. The reddish hue of Sycorax provides further clues to its composition. As mentioned earlier, this coloration is thought to be due to the presence of organic molecules, complex carbon-based compounds that are the building blocks of life as we know it. These organic molecules, incorporated into the icy surface of Psychorax, have been altered by exposure to space radiation, leading to the reddish hues we observe. The presence of these organic molecules on Sycorax is particularly intriguing because they represent a potential link to the early solar system and the conditions under which life may have arisen. Studying these molecules and understanding their distribution on Sycorax could provide valuable insights into the prebiotic chemistry that may have paved the way for life's emergence. In the cold, dark depths of the outer solar system, where sunlight struggles to penetrate and temperatures plummet, time seems to stand still. Objects like Sycorax hold keys to our solar system's past, preserving events from billions of years ago. Unlike the inner solar system, where the sun's heat erased early evidence, the outer solar system preserves pristine materials. Sycorax's icy surface holds a treasure trove of information. Organic molecules on Sycorax suggest life ingredients were abundant. Studying these molecules helps understand prebiotic chemistry. Sycorax offers a glimpse into a time capsule. The formation of planetary systems is a complex and chaotic process, a celestial ballet governed by gravity, collisions, and the interplay of countless small bodies. While our own solar system stands as a testament to the elegance of this cosmic choreography, the details of how planets form and acquire their retinues of moons remain shrouded in mystery. Sycorax and its fellow irregular moons, with their eccentric orbits and diverse compositions, offer valuable clues to the messy and dynamic processes that shaped the outer solar system. Their very existence challenges the traditional model of planetary formation, which posits that planets form from a single, well-behaved disk of gas and dust. The capture model, on the other hand, suggests that irregular moons like Sycorax were not born in the orderly environment of a protoplanetary disk, but were instead captured from the surrounding solar system drawn in by the gravitational pull of a passing planet. This model helps to explain the irregular orbits of these moons, which are often tilted at extreme angles compared to the planet's equatorial plane. The diverse compositions of irregular moons provide further support for the capture model. Unlike the major moons of Uranus, which share a relatively uniform composition, Irregular moons exhibit a wider range of colors and reflectivities, suggesting that they may have originated from different regions of the solar system, each carrying with it the chemical fingerprints of its birthplace.
The Uranian system, with its tilted axis of rotation and unusual arrangement of moons, stands as a testament to the dynamic and often violent forces that have shaped our solar system over billions of years. Sycorax, with its eccentric orbit and distant location, plays a subtle yet important role in the ongoing gravitational dance of this intriguing planetary system. While Sycorax's small size means that its gravitational influence on Uranus and its major moons is negligible, its presence contributes to the intricate web of gravitational interactions that govern the long-term stability of the Uranian system. The gravitational pull of Sycorax, along with that of other irregular moons, can subtly nudge the orbits of the major moons over vast stretches of time, contributing to the complex and ever-evolving dynamics of the system. Moreover, Sycorax's orbit itself is not static, but is constantly being shaped by the gravitational influence of Uranus and its other moons. Over millions of years, these gravitational tugs can cause Sycorax's orbit to slowly evolve, potentially leading to changes in its eccentricity, inclination, or even its eventual fate. Understanding the long-term evolution of Sycorax's orbit and its interactions with other objects in the Uranian system is crucial for predicting the system's future stability and for piecing together the sequence of events that led to its current configuration. Sycorax, in essence, serves as a celestial witness to the ongoing gravitational dance of the Uranian system, its movements providing a glimpse into the intricate workings of planetary dynamics. Sycorax, despite its small size and immense distance from Earth, holds a wealth of scientific potential, promising to reveal valuable insights into the formation of the outer solar system, the composition of icy bodies, and the distribution of organic molecules in the early solar system. Unlocking these secrets, however, will require dedicated missions designed to explore this enigmatic moon in greater detail. Currently, there are no missions specifically planned to visit Sycorax. However, future missions to the outer solar system, such as a dedicated mission to Uranus or a mission designed to study multiple icy moons, could provide opportunities for flybys or even orbiters to study Sycorax up close. Such missions could carry a suite of instruments designed to analyze Sycorax's surface composition, map its geology, and study its interaction with the solar wind and Uranus's magnetosphere. A lander, though technologically challenging, could provide unprecedented insights into the composition of Sycorax's surface ice and search for signs of past or present geological activity. Exploring Sycorax would not only enhance our understanding of this intriguing moon, but would also provide valuable context for studying other icy moons in the outer solar system, such as those orbiting Jupiter and Saturn. By comparing and contrasting the characteristics of these icy worlds, scientists hope to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the processes that have shaped the outer solar system and the conditions that may have led to the emergence of life. As we conclude our journey to Sycorax, this distant and enigmatic moon of Uranus, we are reminded of the vastness and complexity of our solar system. Sycorax, once hidden from our view, now stands as a sentinel of the outer solar system, its very existence challenging our assumptions and beckoning us to explore further into the unknown. From its distant outpost, far beyond the familiar realm of Uranus's major moons, Sycorax bears witness to the tumultuous history of our solar system's formation. Its eccentric orbit, a celestial scar etched by gravitational encounters speaks to a time when planets jostled for position and small bodies were scattered like cosmic dust. Sycorax's reddish hue, a subtle whisper of organic molecules, hints at the possibility that the ingredients for life may have been present even in the cold, distant reaches of the early solar system. This intriguing connection to the building blocks of life underscores the interconnectedness of our solar system and the potential for surprises lurking in the most unexpected places. Though small and seemingly insignificant in the grand scheme of the cosmos, Sycorax serves as a powerful reminder that our solar system is a place of constant discovery, where each new revelation opens up new avenues of exploration and deepens our understanding of our place in the universe.
Our journey to Sycorax has unveiled lingering mysteries that pique scientists' curiosity. Each answer leads to more questions, fueling our desire to delve deeper. The exact composition of Sycorax's surface remains debated. Future missions could reveal complex organic compounds. The history of Sycorax's orbit is ripe for investigation. Computer simulations could shed light on its capture by Uranus. A past collision or close encounter cannot be ruled out. The discovery of Sycorax and other moons highlights human curiosity and our quest for knowledge. Each new moon challenges our understanding of the cosmos. From Europa's icy plains to Io's volcanic activity, from Titan's methane lakes to Enceladus's hidden oceans, moons offer diverse environments, each more intriguing. These celestial bodies have their own stories and secrets. Exploring moons helps us understand our place in the universe. Studying these worlds reveals the balance that makes life on Earth possible. New moons will be discovered, showcasing the wonders of the universe. The quest to understand these celestial wanderers will inspire generations. The name Sycorax, borrowed from Shakespeare's play The Tempest, seems fitting for this enigmatic moon that has captured our imagination. In the play, Sycorax is a powerful sorceress, banished to a remote island, her magic a force to be reckoned with. Similarly, the moon Sycorax, exiled to the outer reaches of the Uranian system, holds a certain mystique, its secrets hidden beneath a veil of ice and shadow. Just as Sycorax the sorceress exerted a subtle influence over the events of the play, so too does the moon Sycorax play a role, however small, in the intricate gravitational dance of the Uranian system. Its presence, though distant, reminds us that even the smallest of objects can have a profound impact on the cosmos around them. As we continue to explore Sycorax and its fellow moons, we are reminded that science and art are not so different after all. Both seek to make sense of the world around us, to find beauty in the unexpected, and to inspire awe in the face of the unknown. Sycorax, both the sorceress and the moon, embodies this intersection of science and art, inviting us to embrace the mystery and wonder of the cosmos. In the end, Sycorax remains a tantalizing enigma, a distant world that holds clues to our solar system's past and perhaps even to the origins of life itself. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we can be sure that Sycorax will continue to beckon us, its secrets waiting to be unlocked by future generations of explorers.